Notion have been very busy bees over the last couple of months, and in particular with their Notion AI, which has been adding new features. The latest update in September, introducing better connection with external applications like Slack, Google, and more. It also does more things uh, like scanning through your account to find relevant PDFs and answering questions that are much more suitable, much more like a Clippy type assistant but it still doesn't solve one of the things that I have had problems with with Notion for many years, and that's that structured element. But their new acquisition, which they've acquired this last week, might solve that very problem. Welcome everyone, my name is Francesco D'Alessio and welcome back to the Toolfinder YouTube channel. If you're interested, do subscribe and you can also join the Notion newsletter which dives into news and releases. This might be one to join if you want to catch up with the October release and some of my speculation around that. So, as you can imagine, uh, a few years now, I've been talking about how Notion might have a structure problem and boil it down to its basics. Notion essentially allow pretty much any structure you want. It's an open canvas for you to build, and in so many ways that's so fantastic. But for the future of artificial intelligence and work, I don't think it's particularly the best route forward. However, I do believe Notion will find their way out of this puzzle. Maybe it's not even a puzzle for them. Let's see. Now, I want to do speculate on a recent acquisition that happened. Now, of course, before we begin, this is entirely my opinion and speculation, so obviously do not take it as the potential and future. But as you can imagine, many of you know that I have been following Notion for well too long, and many of you may have even found Notion through myself, so maybe you will concur with my opinion. Detective Francesco. So, for those who didn't hear, this week Notion acquired a company called Aquarium Learning, and it, they didn't buy an aquarium, it's a machine learning company that's based in San Francisco. They've got a small team, but the company basically takes data sets and learns through all of that data using machine learning. For the jargon that that means, it basically means that they take information, try and understand what it truly means. They do this with images and text and much more. And I did a little bit of digging because I was purely curious whether this would solve one of the problems that I had or whether it could solve other problems inside of Notion. And one of the things that I discovered is right away, I can't find much information about it because the aquariumlearning.com handle is now turned over to Notion and there's a statement on the page. However, I did began digging with the CEO on LinkedIn to explore what I also could find, and I found something very interesting. Whilst Macquarium Learning seems to focus a lot on image-based stuff, so for example, taking images and comparing them and finding uh, patterns in data between those images, very similar to what you would do with the capture function as you're signing into a new application. But I found that they also had a project released last year called Tidepool. Now, after watching a 10 minute video about how Tidepool works and almost falling asleep because this type of topic isn't really my forte. However, I did learn some really interesting things. Essentially what Tidepool does is takes all of this data that you could potentially provide and scans through patterns across all of them. All this data is basically organized into attributes that you provide. So in the example that they did, they took a bunch of conversations that they had with LLMs and essentially took that data and converted it into different attributes like coding, politics, history, and much more. And the machine learning began to find patterns and pick out what the topics were about. Now, a lot of people could potentially look at this and say, this is the perfect addition to enhancing Clippy or Notion AI. Uh, essentially, what it would do is scan through some of the conversations and be able to determine and better improve those conversations to understand product deficiencies and how to better improve how you're interacting with Notion AI. But I think it's something, purely speculation, something much bigger. So I believe that this Tidepool technology, the AI interface for text, could potentially be used within databases in turning them into small structured data. For example, imagine if it was able to understand what your database is about in the context of attributes. This could be incredibly powerful because, for example, based on that data, it could mold that based on what you need. 
So for example, if you start using a database, it could start reorganizing that information for you based on what you're trying to achieve with it and take that time of the productivity administration of setting up the database and build out from there. Now this could also be incredibly useful for templates as well. Imagine going into your account and asking, prompting the Notion AI, I'd like my account to do X, Y, and Z, and it builds the perfect structure for you based on the attributes and conversations you had. And that's because that knowledge of Tidepool basically pulls that information, finds out what a user typically interacts with, and correlates attributes to it. Now this could be a really far-fetched concept from myself, but at least with Notion's event coming up, it could be interesting to see where their artificial intelligence focus is going to be on. But whether or not this is going to be used for that exact scenario, I can imagine Notion are going to bring this into all of their products and make all of the artificial intelligence products much, much smarter, or at least take the data set and learn how to make product improvements. So that's my very long-winded opinion of where I think this new acquisition of Aquarium Learning has come from. If you want to dig a little bit deeper into this, including some of the history of the CEO and much more, you can find an article below about it. If you want to check out some of my opinions on Notion Mail and what to expect, again, that will be linked up here or down here. I'm not too sure yet. So thank you very much, everyone. And again, if you're interested in signing up to the Notion newsletter, you can find that linked below. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to helping you very soon with finding your best productivity tool, whether it's Notion or another tool. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.